it's two crafty feelers it's Loz here and I've got Belle here with me today as well um today we're going to do a whip and chat with you guys we um it's been quite a while since we put one of these up we've had quite a fair bit happening and we want to keep you updated on what's been going on um how are you going today Belle I'm going okay it's been a busy few weeks which obviously we're going to have a chat about um yeah it's it's been a lot of ups and downs for me i'll be honest so i'll try and touch on some of it a little bit and some of it not so much um yeah. But yeah, i'm i'm going well how about you i'm good we gotta my goal is to try and cheer you up today um <laughs> no i'm going well i've like like you i've had a bit of a few ups and downs but nothing nothing horrendous um yeah i had some a couple of trips away which i think i told you i've got an, a really awesome story to tell you about a frog and yeah. also i've got some exciting news about my hip so um i want to fill you all in on what's going on but um i just well i'll start off by showing you what i'm working on so i'm back to working on herbert how exciting mm -hmm. and i only have two rows left to finish him so i'll see if i can turn this over so herbert is actually rainbow dragon from dreamer designs i don't know how well you can see in there he looks incredible the colors is amazing the color blocking i tell you is not as scary as what i've gone through previously which i'll we'll show you in our finishes soon whenever we get that one done um but yeah i'm loving herbert he's like one of my favorite kits ever the colors are amazing the drills are amazing and I think I'm becoming a dreamer design. Um, I'm converted. <laughs> I think that's the word. But I have my drills in my fake Elizabeth Ward containers. I've got my favorite, um, what are these called? Trays from Dragon, yeah. Fantasy Fantasy Dragon. Oh my goodness, I'm having a shocker today. Um, and yeah. <laughs> And my um my favorite two pens that I use with the metal tips. So what are you working on, Belle? I'm working on the last design I've got out of the Diamond Art Club Mini Dazzle set. So I'm working on the makeup oh, one. Yeah. So I took the kit, I started the kit last weekend and took it away with me when I went away, which I'll tell you about later. Um, but this is the last design. I've actually done the other five. So I thought this would be perfect to do it in a whip and chat and hopefully get this one done. And then I'll have a finishes for October. Woohoo! Nice. Woohoo! November. November. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what month it is. How bad is that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I thought because this is the first of the Dying Art Clubs of their new toolkit and things, I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, so I am using their new stackable tray and I have also am using the um, putty pen. Oh, yeah. I thought, yeah. I How are you liking that? Because I didn't like it. I, I Mixed. I'll say mixed. Next. um yeah 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 i'm finding i'm having to replace it like wind up the next bit probably a little bit more frequently than i do with some of my other parties um oh, and it's a bit, yeah. a bit strange yeah. for my taste um yeah. but you know it's not it's not too bad um i don't mind it for something different i probably wouldn't want it on a really big kit i'll say i was but like yeah, that no. too yeah yeah it just wasn't wasn't for me like i think i'm just so used to using these pens that yeah. it's kind of like oh and i and i'm not a big putty user so yeah um i, I actually love found that it, yeah that it, it wasn't really for me i know you can change it out and and whatever but it's just wasn't for me yeah, and that's kind of like you know that's the whole thing about this craft is you know it's it's personal choice it's whatever works for you it there's no right and wrong so if you don't like it that's okay like no one that's should be judging fine. exactly no and i and i reckon that if you start on that pen you know you'd and that's probably what you'd prefer to use yeah, would agree with but because yeah. we've been doing this for a while <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <talk you> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh man, we got to talk about your Spangler addiction too. Don't let us think, don't oh, let me forget yeah. to bring that up. <laughs> I'm not, not perfectly forget to bring that one up. Let's let's not talk about my Spangler addiction. Let's not talk about that. Gosh, everyone, <laughs> Belle has an addiction, and we need to do an intervention. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play the morning card, okay? I'm going to play the morning card. I'm not going to I was going to yeah. show you. I it's going to come out. But these are the 310. Um, oh. Fairy dust. Are they iridescent? No, they're fairy dust. Oh, fairy dust. Yeah, so this whole kit is just fairy dust drills. Um, so I'm not sure how well oh. that came up, but... No. But I didn't see the black and the fairy dust. So I was interested in it. But I will say, I don't know how they make the fairy dust. I don't know how well this is going to come up. Come on. Can you focus for me? No, it's not going to focus for me. No. Um, this is the same issue that we often find with blacks is there are so many of these blacks that have tabs and holes and all the rest of it. Oh, wow. Even okay. with fairy dust. Like, I will say it's probably less obvious than your normal blacks. Um, like, I think a lot of people would probably still end up using it, but I'm just hyper aware of it and I really don't like it. So I'm pulling them out. But, like, most of my trash is black. Oh, wow. Um, and That's it's just incredible. because of that. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, so I will say it's not much different. And the other thing I have noticed is, I don't know if you found it was, but this putty, it's not so much on the, the multiplay. So there is a little bit there, but I don't know if you can hear those clicks. Yeah. Well, this would just be your, what is it? Yeah. Uh, ASM. ASM, loving it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that they, um, they've changed their putty. From what I've heard on um, on the VIP group, DAC's mm -hmm. VIP group, and they were saying that the old one's not as good as the new one. So I wonder if you've got the new putty in there because I don't know. My... I bought this a few months ago, so probably not. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I had so many problems with it. Um, maybe it's the user. <laughs> it was my fault. <laughs> I will say when I when I was doing most of the others in this box, we were sitting in a hotel room and my husband was having a rest on the bed and you could just hear like the pop all the time. And my <laughs> husband was just like, What is that noise? It is annoying me. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're not a diamond painter because there are so many people in the diamond painting community who love this set. Yeah. <laughs> and I do, like, like yeah. Really yeah. He was like, yeah, but he was just like, oh, it's not, it's not regular enough. It's not routine, so it's driving me nuts. And I was like, yeah, okay, well, that that's me. That's not an issue with the noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness! <laughs> so tell me yeah. about your birthday away. <gasps> okay, so for everyone out there, I had a very big birthday on Monday. Um. I tell him 40. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know, right? I know, right? And it, hey, mine's coming up next year, so <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was really good, you know. You get the dirty thirties. It's like for 40, what do you do? Yeah. It's you know, it just doesn't have a nice ring to it. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband he very lovingly organised a weekend away for us. Um, so we were arranging that we were going down to a place called 1770. So it's a few hours' drive from here. It's a beautiful little, I'm going to say, like, hippie, sleepy beach town. It's, yeah. There's not much. It's a beautiful little place, and a lot of people in central Queensland go down there to get away. Um, and it's just really relaxing, and they've got a really nice resort that, you know, there's hardly anything else there, but there's this really nice resort, which is where we went. And yeah, I'm going to try to dive into this up with a little bit of sadness. Um, Tuesday last week, I had, mm. no, before now, Tuesday before my birthday, um, 
Unfortunately, one of my colleagues went for a run after work and we found out on Wednesday morning that he was found collapsed on the side of the road. Oh. He was admitted to ICU. Goodness. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so it was all a bit of a shock to us. He was, I don't even know his exact age, but mid to late 40s. He was not old. Um, yeah. He was in ICU for three days. And so we were frantically trying to rejiggle rosters as well as, you know, hopes and thoughts and prayers and things for the family and, and hoping that he was going to be okay. Um, it ended up being Friday. My husband had arranged for us to drive down to 1770. And we were going to go straight after work. And because of this unfortunate event, I had to rejiggle my roster and I had to start early and work a little bit later. So it was a late finish for us to be able to get down. Um, but we were driving down and we got as far as Calliope, which is probably about the halfway point, um, slightly yeah. probably closer to the side, but close enough. We thought we'd stop off and have a bit of dinner since it was about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And unfortunately, <laughs> I was sitting in the truck stop at a Mocker's there and I we just ordered and I sat down for, to wait for my husband and was getting my food and I got the unfortunate news that my colleague passed away. Oh, Belle. So I'm, so I'm sitting bawling my eyes out <laughs> in a truck stop in Calliope. Yeah. Um, and my husband came back and I had my back to him so he couldn't see me and so he's talking about, I don't even know what he was talking about, I didn't hear him. And he took one yeah. look at my face and he worked out what it was and he gave me a big hug. But we must have looked absolutely ridiculous in this truck stop. But uh, um, that, uh, was, that was a pretty good day. Yeah, what a bummer before you, a weekend you're meant to go to enjoy and yeah, um, yeah. relax and, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, I feel more sorry for his family. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's hard for us. You know, we all knew him and, and he was a wonderful, wonderful man. Um, he drove us nuts to work with him because he was always about the, the patients. You know, that was his first and foremost concern. But it then yeah. meant, you know, bugger with all the, the rules and regulations if that's what it took to to help a patient. So then we were left picking up all the, the legal pieces oh. and <laughs> whatever we oh. It used to what drive us crazy. Loss the Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and him and his wife were avid um, part of their church. They um, did marathons and fundraisers so often. Like, you know, he, he really was an active part of the community. So I think the whole community is in mourning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was a bit of devastation. We've still got to wait another week or so until his funeral, and the boss is trying to, frankly, find a whole heap of woken so that the regulars can get down for the funeral, which which I, yeah. I really, you know, it's, it's not easy for the boss either. You know, he's in mourning and he's trying to arrange it so that we can all go down to. Exactly. Um, yeah. So oh, it's interesting yeah, time. But mm, um, heartbreaks. That's horrible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyway, so <laughs> um, we get down to seventeen seventy that evening, um, and we were only there until Sunday morning. So it was only going to be two nights, and we were hoping we'd get a little bit more Friday night, but of course things didn't happen that way. Um, yeah. So Saturday was a bit of a relaxing day. My husband had originally booked me in for a really, really long. Um, like spa session, I've got a nice little spa down there. Um, yeah. But I got a message on Thursday night to say that they were down a staff member and could I fit it in at 10.30 on the Friday morning instead? And I said, uh, no, because oh, I'll be no. um, So I didn't get to the spa session. Oh, <laughs> and it was going to be no. a half hour spa session. Oh. Um, so that's okay. So my husband lovingly thought ahead and he found an old bottle of massage oil and thought he'd take that down and give me a massage instead. Um, <laughs> instead of a two and a half hour massage session, I had about 15 minutes. So minutes close out. <laughs> <laughs> near enough oh, good enough. Okay, the thought that counts, <laughs> hey. Exactly. I appreciated that he was trying to put in some effort. So it's just yeah. going to be um, <laughs> and, you know, like we went for a bit of a drive around 1770 and Agnes Water and just had a look at how much has changed because we haven't been down there since um, the whole COVID thing. 
Um, yeah, so right. I don't think it was interesting to see what, what's different out, out there. Um, and then we came back to the room where I was driving my husband next with all the, the popping from the, <laughs> the drills. And I ended up falling asleep. Like I went and had a rest after I'd done a couple and I fell asleep. My husband, beautiful man, left me to have a rest. He knew I obviously needed it and emotionally yeah. was a bit old. I slept for four and a half hours. Oh, goodness. You needed that, didn't you? I did. I did. So I woke up basically completely disorientated, not knowing what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> and he had fallen asleep while I was asleep, but he apparently only had about 20 minutes and he slept for 15 of it while I was awake. So he must have just gone to sleep when I was waking up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I was leaving him have a sleep, so not that that lasted very long. Um, but, yeah, we went downstairs and we had a nice dinner and just a bit of a relax. And we didn't even get in the pool because I'd slept for so long. They've got this beautiful pool. Um, yeah. It's a big, like, U-shaped pool. Oh, and it's nice. Got gorgeous. And it's got, like, a cocktail bar in the middle and all sorts of things. Like, that was open. Didn't get to any of that because I slept for so long. You slept for it. <laughs> So I'll get there one year. I just don't know when it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it just means you have to go back again. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was nice and we drove home. We took our time coming home on Sunday um, and went and picked up my son because he was staying at my in-law's house. Um, yeah. And then Monday, I'll admit, was a little bit hard for me again. Um, my yeah. colleague. I had a chat with my boss and my colleague before obviously everything happened and I'd said, you know, it's a big birthday um, and I knew my husband was arranging to take me away. I just didn't know what days and when. And mm. when I spoke to them, I was like, you know, is there any chance that I can have the day off? I knew we were a bit short-staffed and my colleague actually said, no, you take the day off. Family is important. Big birthdays are important. Memories are important. Oh. I'll, I'll work on my own for you. And... Of course, by then he'd unfortunately passed away. So they were then oh. frantically trying to find someone to cover. So for me, I mean, they did find someone, so I didn't have to work, which I really, really appreciated. But again, it's that it's that guilt, yes, and, and sorrow mixed in with you know trying to have those happy memories. So instead, sorry. Oh, Belle, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, so instead, I, I pulled my son out of kindy for the day um, and I took him and my dad. My husband had to work, but I took my, my son and my and my dad and we went down to the beach and we just had a day together where we oh. had lunch. And, and, you know, we didn't really do anything, but it was just yeah. a nice family day. And that's what matters, isn't it? It just shows you, <laughs> like, in this tragedy, it's you've surrounded yourself with what makes you happy and is and that's what's going to help you get through it. And, yeah. Oh. And very much, you know, like that was his whole thing is, you know, family memories are important. Yeah. You know, we've, we've only got a limited time and he's new and blatantly obvious um, in, the, in the worst possible way. But... Um, yeah, so I thought I had to I had to do something. So although we didn't do much, it was it was just about having that family time together. Um, yeah. it, it was a really, really nice day. You know, like I, I very much had my moments where I was a bit upset and a bit teary and a bit quiet. Oh, but you will be. For, yeah. the most part, you know, for the most part it was it was a great day. And I'm so glad I made it what I did. Uh, uh yeah. And that's and you'll look back on that. Okay, and you'll know how, how amazing that'll be in your own sort of healing for all this as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And yeah, it's, so, it's so amazing. It's so important to have your family time. Like I have to say that when, like um, we went away for my son's birthday and mm. we went up to Townsville. So you went south, we went north. <laughs> um, <laughs> And because he turned six, and and it's it was a, a late last minute decision. We thought, oh, why not? Let's. He didn't really want a birthday party, and he wanted a birthday party at this one place, but they couldn't do it because of no staff. And and we thought, oh, yeah, let's go away. So we found this um, big four caravan park up there that had an amazing pool and slides and 
and it and it was just a nice way for us to just go and spend time with the kids and all of us together and um yeah it was it was so nice I have to tell you like the drive was four hours but the kids did it great we broke it up into a few stops and we um they have a place up there called um Billabong Sanctuary have you been you would have been there you haven't been there it's a um just like a little a little zoo but it's all surrounded by like this big lake in the middle and they sort of focus on crocodiles and Australian natives. So we got to feed the ducks, feed kangaroos, we saw the koalas and um, we we just timed it so perfectly. We came across this um, keeper and she was standing next to this little hut and we're like, oh, what's going on here? And she had the door open and one of the wombats was asleep there. So we got to give a wombat a nice big cuddle and a pat and and we found out that her name was Cleo and well, I have a cat named Cleo as well. <laughs> so That's it was just cute. so nice and, and it was so amazing just to see the kids all excited and happy and, and seeing something so native to us but being so close to them, it was, it was incredible. And we yeah. like just went for walks down on the strand and 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 I, I totally get what you mean like having your family around you just makes you feel it's euphoric isn't it it's it is yeah it is and you don't have to be doing anything special it's it's just about having you know, and, and feeling that love and that warmth yeah and in that moment it just made you made me feel like so happy where I was and so content in my life and yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. That's yeah. exactly how I Yeah. Yeah. And well, then, what, well, like, the day after I got back from that, I got to, I had to go down to Brisbane for work. Oh, yes. Yeah. You had a really so, busy couple of Oh, weeks I've been traveling like so much. It's been ridiculous. And they put us up like it was training. So we were staying in the hotel that the training was held at. Yeah. And because it was a, department like government department training it was in like a pretty flat hotel and really? like the the um i was in like this beautiful room big king size bed there were six yeah. pillows i could choose from and had this oh amazing God. desk i remember sending you a photo of this desk oh, so i could diamond paint at and, <laughs> that the and best one you had desk. But, you know, they had a bidet okay so this shows what sort of how sheltered i am right so I like I walked in there and I'm like, what on earth is this? Because it, it it wasn't separate; it was joined to the toilet. And I'm like, what's going on here? And I sat down on the toilet seat and it gave me a little scot of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, what is going on here? And it just does it like automatically every time you sat on the toilet and. I messaged my boss and I'm like, um, there's a bidet here. Like, I've never seen one ever. I've never, like, she's like, turn it on. It's, it's, she's like, it's hilarious. Have a go. And I'm like, no, because the whole hallway, all rooms will hear me scream and then laugh and then giggle and then scream. And, <laughs> and I'm like, no, this is just not on. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm kind of light in my day, but I'm like, but so that like, every time. Time. hey. Did you know it was a bidet when you went in or did you have to find I out had, afterwards? No, I had a bit of an idea, like, yeah, that it was there because it was a different sort of toilet, like looked like the Japanese-style so toilets. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm, this is going to be interesting. And then when I sat down, this is so personal, there was in front of me was like all the controls and stuff and you could heat up the water and heat up the seat and, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, just that little bit was giving me a, fr a fright as soon as you sat down, like in the middle yeah. of the night, it was like, no, I don't need this. Yeah. <laughs> if you to sleep, yeah, that yeah. would be really awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that was fun. <laughs> if I didn't feel any better, I, when... <sighs> Before Hubby and I got married over in Scotland, um, we went over, it was about six months before the wedding and we happened to be going over for a different reason. Um, but we were staying at a couple of places and then we were going to finish up in Scotland so that we could see the place, see where we were getting married because, of course, everything was done by email at that stage. Yeah. Um, but we were in 
Where were we? We were in Italy. Yeah. In Milan, and we'd been put up in a really flash, flash hotel. And I had never seen a bidet. <laughs> and I walked into the bathroom and, like, this was such a flash hotel. Like, the walls were marble. Like, it was insane. Oh, wow. In our room. In our room. And I was just like, I feel like you're such an imposter in this place. Like, yes. this is not me. Oh, thank yeah. goodness we were only there to play that because I was like, I can't. <laughs> like, I just, <laughs> if I'm in my daggy car. I was like, I've got nothing branded in my life, but okay. <laughs> But yeah, country well, girls, hey. Yeah, exactly. Um, like I don't mind a little bit of luxury, but that's just over the top for me. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, so I walked into the bathroom and it was separate to the normal toilet. So they had a toilet and oh. then they had a big So it kind of looked a little bit like like you said, like a Japanese toilet, almost like a urinal type thing. And I was like, I was I was just calling out to my then boyfriend, now husband, going. Why would they have a urinal next to the toilet? And I was like, I did my business and left. And he came into the bathroom after I finished and he was just like, sweetheart, that's a bidet. He was like, oh, no. <laughs> I have to do this so <laughs> there, there's my bidet story. I never used it, but he was like, where did you go? I'm good. I'm good. You're good, yeah. I'm like that. I'm like, no, I'll just stick to the toilet paper. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me <laughs> oh we should say like if anyone that's listening like have you had any experience with a bidet <laughs> like if you're like us and you had no idea what it was and what it was capable of doing and <laughs> uh, or got a bit of a fright <laughs> let us know i'd love to hear it tell me all your stories i don't feel so <laughs> we don't feel so sheltered. <laughs> yeah, that's it, eh? <laughs> but now I've got to tell you about my frog. Yes, okay. I want to hear about the frog. Was it a green tree frog? Green tree frog. We've yeah. had, I think I've told you, we've had a few issues like with frogs. Yes. Yeah. Coming yeah. and eating the dog food and stuff. So it was last Monday, last Monday, I think. Yeah, last Monday. I, um, because it's been getting really hot, we've been leaving the air conditioner on at night time. So I um, shut the, the glass door when I was going to bed and mm -hmm. noticed that my cat was being a little bit weird. So mm -hmm. he was like running between the doors, looking at something. So I got up and had a look, opened the door, didn't see anything, shut it again, went back to bed. Didn't notice anything. So I got up the next morning and my cat was still sitting at that door. And I'm like, man, something's there. I'm like, so I open the glass door, open the sliding door, and a frog jumped away. <gasps> so this frog was stuck in that door. I'm assuming he was either stuck in between the glass because he got a hole in the in the screen, the fly screen. Yep. So I think he was either stuck in the door or he was stuck in between the two. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. So, of course, my, my dogs love the green tree frogs and they tried to attack it. So I had to run out and try and scoop him up. And I've never touched a green tree frog in my life. Well, so here I was freaking out trying to touch this, like pick this thing up. So I went and got mm -hmm. a container with a couple of wipes and just scooped him up into the container and thought, yeah, okay, we're nice and safe. So I'm like, where am I going to put this frog? So I took the frog around to the water tank, put him up there, thought, yep, that's a nice place. He'll just go down into the water pipe, into the tank, he'll be fine. He jumped straight off the tank down onto the ground. Oh, I'm like, come on. So then the dogs went for him again. So I had to pick him up again, put him back in this container. I put a bit of water in and then I just thought, no, I've got to take him out the front to a pipe. Take him out the front so the dogs can't get him. I'm like, yeah, okay. So my son came with me, he held him for a little bit, we walked through the house, went and put him out next to a downpipe and we left him there. Mm -hmm. So we went back out again because my boy wanted to go check on this frog and he was gone. And I'm like, good, he's gone up in the pipe, we're, we're fine, he's all good. He was, I found him walking, not walking, hopping back up to the top of the driveway, heading towards the gate to come back into our yard. So I picked him up again and moved him. 
Now we were leaving. This is like, this is intense. I was very cranky at this frog. He, <laughs> we were going to school drop off. I'm like, okay. So we go to school drop off. I opened the door, walked outside and there it was next to the gate back in the yard. So I'm oh, like, this on. bloody frog, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> it wanted to be in our yard. So yep. I picked it up, took it across the road and I put it in the tree. So I'm like, fine, you can stay there. So now every night we have to go hunting, my son and I, for this frog. And oh, no. I'm pretty sure we found him on our roof. <laughs> He's oh, back again. God. And he wants to <laughs> grab him every time to pick up this frog. I'm like, so we're going to make a frog hotel. <laughs> Making somewhere safe. So, you know, have you seen any of those frog hotels? They're like, they're like no. big buckets and they put some water and pebbles and little water plants and they put pipes oh, in so then cool. they can just go and sit in the pipes and it's like a nice little saviour savior for them. So every night we go hunting. The other night we have found another frog. So we've got two frogs in our yard now. So they've probably been playing tag team on us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Who oh, knows? Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I we kind of have a don't we mate like my boys just walked in so I'm just telling Belle about your and everyone about your the frog yeah yeah you liked him hey yeah you got to pat him yeah yeah you sound like a frog <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's our new sort of little obsession at the moment is going to look for these frogs and trying to catch them and and I was actually pretty proud of myself to actually hold the frog. I didn't scream, did I? I was like, I did very well. Yeah, stop playing with those, making the thing. I suppose you're probably used to, you get a few frogs? Yeah, we get a few. We've got a couple of them living around here. Um, yeah. It seems to alternate between whether we get toads or frogs. Yeah. Oh, the, toad, um, the toads will come once we... um. Start getting some rain. It just depends. I'm assuming. Yeah. You know which one is in higher population. Um, oh yeah. From people that if you've got frogs, that means you don't have a huge toad population. If you've got toads, you don't have a huge frog frog population. They seem to compete. Oh. They're not. not really present at the same time like you might have a couple but you know for the most part one will dominate oh god so if that's the case because i'd rather have green tree frogs oh, any day to kill oh. toads okay <laughs> we've um we've had different times where like we'll have the green tree frogs get in the house um because yeah. you know like i seem to have a lot of stories about wild animals in our house yeah <laughs> you do <laughs> Um, but anyone who hasn't heard them, the Australian green tree frog, I don't know about what other tree frogs around the world make, um, but I did learn that different types of frogs all make different sounds. Like they don't ribbit. There's only like one or two types of frog in the world that ribbit. Oh, it, I didn't it's know actually that. A, apparently it's all to do with um, some book or movie that was written like way back in the day that was set in England. And one of their, you know, largely dominant frogs, ribbits, and that's why it got written down as ribbit and all the rest of it, and that's why we all know oh. it all that. So actually, yeah. Sorry, I I do like learning random facts. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so the green tree frog in Australia, it's <laughs> it makes a really weird sound. Like it does like the throaty sort of a noise, and it loves to make noises where it echoes, so it sounds bigger than what it is. So yeah. it loves living in the daylight, but if you've ever heard it being, I'm going to say, attack, like when it goes into mm. self protection yes. mode, have you ever heard that noise? It is incredibly yes. scary. It is. It, it's like a bird in distress is yes. the only way I can describe it. It's like a yes. really high pitch chirp. <laughs> yeah, it's, a trap it's really, really off-putting and it's not a noise that you expect from a frog. So no, we exactly. There's only a few times where, like, it'll be up on, like, the top of the screen door and the cat will start to go at it. Now, my cat has yeah. never heard a frog. She bats <laughs> at it and she goes to the toy. But she's never heard a frog, so just for the record. But, um, of course, the frog doesn't know that. And so then the frog starts making this <laughs> high. 
And it's usually after we've gone to bed. So we get woken yeah. up to this horrendous noise. Yeah. <laughs> We think that it's like to us, it's like, oh, the dogs have got a got a frog, or it's like, oh, we've got a snake that's got a frog. <laughs> you know, you kind of think, oh, where are the dogs? <laughs> Let's hope it's yeah. the same. But my dogs are the same. They don't hurt. They don't hurt the frog. They they try to, they do want to, but we go and stop them. Okay, like it's not something that I encourage my dogs to do. I would never hurt them. I think they're just beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful animals. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We yeah. certainly don't have animals to do it either, but you know, she I have to say she's a cat, you know, you can her instinct to stay in the place. Um yeah. she has never heard her claws out that I've seen. So I, I don't really feel concerned by it. But you know, at the same time I don't want to distress the frog either and I don't want her to be tempted to ever do it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm. And uh, I'm more than happy to, to put a stop to it. So at which point I go grab the cat and get my husband and make the husband deal with the frog. <laughs> well, clearly so we're not like life. moving our frogs away enough. <laughs> further yeah, away because they just want to be here. Yeah, well, you've got to move them from ridiculous amount because they yeah. just keep coming up. They just keep coming back. They just keep coming back. It's it's like well, I don't I don't mind, but I'm like, man, like, I just, I don't want you to die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Come in this yard and you will be. Me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I, the, uh, apart from the frog story, I do have some other news. I noticed that we're almost 40 minutes. So um, I don't know if I've probably told you a fair bit about my hips. Like I have really bad hips um from a deformity from um the bone growth so uh, i've had it for years and years and years and years and um finally got some help and i've been told that i i needed to have a surgery and i did to fix the shape of it but it never helped and then i was put on the wait list to have a hip replacement so i got the phone call on tuesday that i have been waiting almost four years for that they are going to do my hip replacement in December. Um, so I am, I am, I'm, I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. But you should have seen me on on Tuesday. It was like mm -hmm. I was dazed, bewildered. I was like, how how am I meant to feel? Like I, I don't. I was feeling happy, but then it was like I was in shock, and <laughs> it it yeah. was. Uh, it was incredible. And um, the lady in, that I was talking to in theatre booking, she's like, oh, is, are you okay? Is this day all right? I'm like, yep. I just want to cry because I've been waiting so long. <laughs> so um, hopefully that means that I'll, I'll be, I won't be able to drive for six weeks. So I'll be yeah, diamond, home, painting. diamond painting. I'm planning to get like an overbed table. And oh, no. so I'll be able to do some of my time painting. So, but I but can't course, let that. What you're, telling, what you're telling your husband you maybe over the over the bed for is for food, right? It's for food, exactly. Yeah. But if it's yeah. there for diamond painting, why not? <laughs> well, that's it. You're gonna get your out of it. That, that's that's it. it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, my priority is to do my exercises first, but once I've done that, I can go diamond painting. <laughs> I like that. So, diamond painting is your yeah. reward for doing your exercises. Yes, yep. So that's coming up very soon. I think I've got three weeks now until oh. um, the big day and I'm just, yeah, um, I cannot wait to be pain-free from a hip. No. So I'm still no. going to have my fibro pain, but um it'll be nice to get rid of this one that I'm constantly in so yeah I'll be able to keep you posted and um let you know how I'm going and I'm going to need all the help I can get so if anyone has had a hip replacement or um knees done or anything else please let me know any tips and tricks that you found um to help get you through it and um yeah I've got two little slaves that will be on school holidays, <laughs> so they'll be able to help me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. My, dad, my dad had a hip replacement, so yeah. um, I, I saw it from a, an older person's point of view, but 
if if you're following all the right things and you've got a good surgeon, which I really do hope you do, okay. you are not going to know yourself afterwards. It's it's going to be such a good thing for you. I'm so glad oh. you're getting this done. Oh, I am. I and I am. I'm ecstatic. Like and and to say like the surgeon. So I'll be going down to um, a big hospital in Brisbane, and this surgeon actually works at um the private hospital that's on the same site so he comes over and helps out this hospital with their case numbers and when i met him it was i wanted to hug him i think i told you that it was like i was just so happy and so impressed and he does a lot of teaching so and they're going to use the um the mako machine the the robot to do my hip replacement so he won't let me watch. <laughs> no, they're not kids. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, no, it's going to be spinal. Oh. Yeah, spinal. Unless, like, he's like, yeah, we'll be on the spinal. I'm like, oh, can I watch? <laughs> Typical nurse. Eh? He's like, mm. yeah, he's like, oh, it might be a bit boring. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they still will give me a So you know what I Yeah, they did say they'll give me, like, a twilight sort of a thing, uh, but it won't be a, a general, so. Yeah, which yeah, because be... that's what my dad had. Dad had the spinal, but he got the medaz, so he had no idea what was going on. Yeah, so I'd say that, which I'm excited about because I don't come out of anaesthetic very well. So oh. um, to take that bit of anaesthetic out before the the surgery is going to help so greatly. So oh even if you've got the anxiety, the medaz will help with that. The medaz will help me, won't it? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I won't even be freaking out at all. I'll be off for the fairies. <laughs> Probably people have some really good conversations on the wall, so go yeah. wait and see. Um, I'll tell you about gonna, it. Uh, yeah. um, I'm just going to sidetrack for one second. I'm just going to show go. you the ridiculousness of these kits sometimes. So this was their first generation of the mini dabbles. The dabbles. Yeah. And that they were going to be really, really helpful. So I don't know if you remember my unboxing video, but they came with the drills as individual packets. So it was sort of like, you know, you could give one to a friend or, you know, whatever it might have been. They weren't all kitted up together. I believe that's now changed. Um, yeah. But I'm going through this one. There is literally, let's see if I can get the camera viewpoint. I don't know if you can see just there, there is the there's one single spot. Yeah. Yep. We have, in this entire painting, that's all there is, and we have a bag of this many to do one spot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you just change the colour? Like, <laughs> why yeah. have one spot? It's, it <laughs> seems really good. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all the kits have had that or it'll be like this one yeah this one did the same there's like they've tried to do it like they've got these little sparkles around it like this one yeah. symbol it's the only one on this entire kit just make it a different color oh you'd think you would wouldn't you don't oh, know goodness. <laughs> that's all I'm doing with this that's that's not change. I'm, I'm not really complaining, but it was, no. I was doing these things like, I had to kit up an entire bag for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I, oh, that would drive me crazy. I'm glad they've sort of all combined it all. See, I would have done that. Like, I would have just put them all in my containers with all the, yeah. the numbers or stickers or whatever they were. I don't have any yet. So, um, but, yeah, I'm glad they've changed mm -hmm. it. I agree. I agree. Um, you know, and I, I like the fact that they were trying to do something different because they thought that people might prefer them individually done. And I think it was a really good way to try it. Um, but so many yeah. of us do multiple in one sitting and it, we're not sharing it around. So I don't think they necessarily need it. Um, so, yeah, I don't have an issue that they've changed. But I thought I would try it the way they've done it just to see. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it drove me insane. One freaking drill. <laughs> but yeah, yeah at least if you you dropped um 50 of those drills at least you had plenty oh. to do that one <laughs> <laughs> even if there's a like, crash i'm gonna find one <laughs> yep yep you're still gonna have enough 
that's no. I know. Gosh, that time flies when we're having fun, doesn't it? Well, I just want to again. And, and that's what I thought. I'm glad. I'm glad we did go and do it because I was giving a, I was giving Belle the option to sort of pull out and not do our whip and chat today, but she wanted to, and I think it was for the best. So I, I'm, I'm hope we've cheered her up, and um, yeah, I, I know that I'm thinking of you, and you know I'm always here for a chat if you needed to. So I do like to talk. So <laughs> I can think of something funny to brighten your day. <laughs> You have the best funny story. I need more of your stories. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this one, I think. You know, usually I don't have anything, but gosh, it's all been happening in my house lately. <laughs> yeah. It was perfect timing. I think so. Yeah, just <laughs> what we needed. Because <laughs> you've been there for me so many times, so it's about time I pay back. <laughs> <Thank you>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we'll leave it there, and I hope... You all are having a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week ahead and um, we'll see you and talk to you again on a, another day. So um, I hope you enjoyed our little whip and chat. If you want to hang around and, and join us for more of these little stories and find out what we get up to, um, please like the video and subscribe. We'd love to have you here with us and, um, yeah, have an amazing day. See you later. Thanks, okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you.